Hello VMF here and I'm back with some more Minecraft. So one of the projects I had actually been working on uh, last time, or well, since uh, my last video, uh, which was back in June, um, well it was actually a server client, you know, an inbox kind of uh, program, you know. So how it works, you need two computers, one for the server which contains all the data, and one for the client itself which uh, interacts with the server. So, uh, for it to work, well, first of all, the server must be on, obviously. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's open the client. And you can connect to an account. Let's, for example, connect to my account, which is IMF, like that. And uh, it will require a password, of course, so... So there. And what's good is that um, the password is actually hidden to do that. You just use the read function as usual, but as an argument you put a string uh, containing the symbol to actually hide the text. So in this case it's a little star thing, symbol. So anyway, the password is correct. And you'll notice, well, uh, the little menu, the typical menu I always make. At the top you get the account name, so that's imf, the account type, and that's admin. So there are two account types, admin and user user is, uh, well the user interface does not have the server command. Now then, first of all let's show you the address book, like that. Uh, no, not the, the inbox I meant, there's not, that's actually something I could um, add an address book. Never mind. Anyway, it's uh, a menu, it's a bit different and I actually made it using uh, my previous menu code but I changed it a bit. It was good, it would, um, basically could use an infinite number of, um, of objects inside the menu, so an infinite number of messages. For instance, um, there I have only 6 messages, but uh, let's admit I have 100. I could uh, still access them by changing the page uh, by pressing the sideways uh, keys. But I'll show you that in another account. So let's check out message. So. This is a message I sent to myself. This is a message. So we get from the, from who? The mess. What time? So 9:50. That was Minecraft time, not real time. And uh, this is a message. Or the message itself. And Tim, Tom are two users. Fictional. Well, they didn't really exist. I didn't know why I actually took those names. Probably because they're short. Um, server command. I'll show you the send later on. But. Uh, that's really useful, and that's why being an admin is so awesome. So you type help to get a, well, a part of the list, because actually some functions are actually hidden. So you can create a new account, show the help, log in, send a message, and shut the server down. Those are the raw functions. This is how the data is sent to the um, server. But uh, there's actually something I, uh, one function I created, I think. Uh, let's give it a try. I think it's get pass maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> you got my my password. Never mind. Um, I should also create a function to change the password uh, in the near future. But yeah, you get pass, and my password is Minecraft. So now you know. And to send a message, you have to indicate who you're writing to. So let's write to Tim, for example. You have a message itself. Uh, let's type hi. So for some reason, uh, the server just crashed right now because the way it worked is it has several files: uh, the server API, uh, startup, and data, which is uh, basically containing all the data. TMP is um, a file which overrides data. Uh, so yeah. Uh, data, data, data. Data contains all the information. And what happens, uh, I'm trying to fix that, but whenever you open data to change the... What happens is that you open the file uh, to read all the data, and then, um, for some reason, it stays open, and you can't delete it when it's still open, so... Uh, now that um, actually the server crashed, it is now possible to access the data, so I'll show you right now. 
Uh, no, wait, ah, dang it. Let's start up again. The server is running. And this time let's send a message to Tim. And uh, how about a message like, hi. And this time it's done. It works. So we can actually connect to Tim's uh, account. And if you get it wrong, it will type wrong password. That actually works. So let's get typed correctly. So as I said, the users have don't have the option which is um, send well server commands. Anyway, let's uh, try send. Oh, oh dang it! <laughs> I I don't want to send a message. Never mind. Uh, let's hi. So this didn't, didn't work because um, that happens every time I use the connect. So that actually gives me an idea why there is a, prog a problem and I'll try to fix that. But anyway, let's check out the inbox. So there's the list I mentioned early on, all the pages. And at the end you have my message. Hi! And uh, the time was Minecraft time midnight. Almost one o'clock. Anyway, so um, that's basically the whole thing. Uh, you can have several qu yeah, several client computers and uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it works pretty damn well. So I won't be showing you right now how it works uh, but what I'm going to do is that I am going to create a side series for Computercraft um, which will basically uh, gradually explain how to well, several mechanics of a server. So that will be all for the day anyway, but next time I'll be showing you, um, I don't know, well, several mechanics and uh, uh, we'll be one step closer to actually making a proper server. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you're really awesome, you'll do all of those. And if you're even more awesome, I guess you've already have, you already have done that. And um, I will be leaving you, so goodbye.